it is the one and only Vila Sonnenbaum in Yonave and today I will be giving you tips on how to manage your time during midterms. Yes, we hate midterms, we don't love them, we're ready for spring break, we're ready to just get out. Understandable. But today I'm going to give you the tips on how to make your midterm week a little bit more smoother than normal. And number one, please get a planner. You, in order to do time management correctly, is with a planner. Whether you get a planner that has times in it, or the days, or a whole calendar, I suggest you get one. And the night before, say Sunday night, you should be planning your Monday. Uh, Monday night, you should be planning your Tuesday. Some people like to think ahead, and they get really, really good at planning, and plan their whole week in advance. But things do come up, because we are young and in college, really hard to plan a week ahead. But I always say the night before, you know what you have to do, you know what's going on, you know what to do, plan that whole day out. I feel like your day will go much smoother and it doesn't feel like you're winging it the entire time. Number two, midterms can be very stressful and it is very hard to relieve stress. Find a hobby that relieves stress. For some people that is working out, for some people that is going to bed at an earlier time, which is okay. I count it as a hobby because you need your sleep in order to do well when test taken. Some people like to go out with friends and get a bite to eat. Some people like to watch their favorite TV show. Do what makes you feel less stressed and happy between the times that you're studying, going to class, or in going to meetings. Number three, please make sure that you know your prior engagements that you made on the week of midterms, meaning that Yes, we do have midterms, but we also have other engagements to other things in other organizations during the midterm week. Please make sure you're not neglecting those. Only I will only say cancel them if everything is too overwhelming because people understand if you communicate with them ahead of time and whatnot. I feel like if things are too overwhelming, that is a problem and I think you need to talk to someone who, such as an advisor, a student advisor, to really get an understanding of how you can maneuver this obstacle because there are some things that are very doable and it's um, sometimes if you just ask for help, you will receive it. I think that it's important to know your prior engagements, which is go back to my first point, which means to plan. Because if you plan, you see other things on your calendar, you will notice conflicts and you won't have to run into those the day of and have a problem and then end up having unwanted stress. Number three, I say for people who have depression and anxiety to definitely see someone in their time of the week, which is midterms. Meaning that, no, do not see someone the first day of midterms, but I would definitely see someone in the middle of the day or towards the end of the week, in the middle of the week and towards the end of the week. Due to after taking two to three midterms probably within the first two days or four, some people take two a day. Um, I would definitely talk to someone to relieve stress. Also, ask other people to find better coping mechanisms when dealing with stress. Ask people who are in the same major as you, who are seem to be doing well with their stress, or who seem to really put emphasis on self-care. Number four, this goes kind of more depth into my third point. Please make sure you're talking to someone and venting to them when things get a little overwhelming. Meaning that do not bottle things up, do not hide things from people because at the end of the day there are people around you that love you and want to help you and the only way they can help you is if you tell them that you need help. <laughs> Number five, last but not least, please, 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 please know the times of your midterm. You do not want to show up late and you do not want to miss midterms. Only way to do that is to plan and to please know the times your midterms a week in advance. So during classes the week before your midterms, you should be asking where your midterms are. Most of the time your midterms will be taking place during your regular class time. And if not, find a schedule the last the week before midterms, you should be finding a schedule, planning accordingly, and planning around meetings and other prior engagements that you made a commitment to. Yes, this kind of goes contradicts me saying plan a night ahead but some people can do that due to their engagements not being as conflicting with times and also some people can do it because people have the mindset where they can plan a week ahead and not get overwhelmed 
I say that because I like to talk to both sides. Some people get overwhelmed planning really far ahead. Some people love planning really far ahead. Know which person you are and take heed to either or advice. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful, and flourishing midterm week. I hope you get all A's. It's 4.0 season. Nothing less. Nothing shabby. Nothing raggedy. Stay flourishing, my friends.